I just think that all art needs to be celebrated right now. I don't think that there should be a limitation. There has been, I think in the past, um, are you a visual artist? Or are you a performing artist? Do you do music? Um, are you a writer? And I don't think those things should ever be separate. I think the art should all be celebrated as one. I'm bringing a range of work and there's some pieces that really seem to fit the theme in very direct ways. Uh, whether they're things that seem to be portraits of people that could be from that time. Um, or objects that fit into that time period very specifically. And even some paintings that reference paintings from that time period. And some of the, some of the pieces are much more, uh, a bit more of a stretch and kind of my own personal fun way of looking at that theme and that, that period. It was just like too perfect of a pairing. I mean, it was almost like, it was one of those, you know, aha moments. You're like, who, okay, who are we gonna put in um, for each piece? And it was like, oh my gosh, Michael, Marie, perfect, yes. He looks at painting from a traditional standpoint and then puts his own contemporary twist on it. I work with my own kind of modified version of the Medician School method. And so it's an old method. But he does such simple, graceful, beautiful movements with uh, his paintings. And that's kind of the same thing with Marie and with Wonderbound. I mean, she was a queen, but she was not your typical queen, you know. And the same thing with Wonderbound. I mean, they are a classically trained dance company that looks at ballet, but then they bring it to a contemporary field. There is, you know, no limit to the size of what we're doing. It's just getting that art in front of people, showing them what's available and what's out there.